How's everyone doing tonight? It is Wednesday. It's about 8 o'clock at night. Bringing you another video of the build that I'm doing or restoration of the 1986 Kawasaki Ninja ZX10. Also known as the GPZ-1000. Um, as you can see, I have her stripped down. Most of her. I'm just waiting. I just have to take these mirrors off. And get this off. You know, to get the front nose off. And the, the front fender, I got to take it off and sand it down. Uh, I am doing all the work myself um, the other day I did a carb cleaning on it took the carbs out cleaned them out um, it was a little dirty it wasn't that much but you know I wanted to do it real quick just so I don't have to do it later on um, one of these days I will take the bike outside and uh, you know rinse it all off degrease everything uh, cause I might be painting the frame. Um, not sure yet, but I will be cleaning her. You know, I polish up these, uh, mufflers, clean the wheels, you know. Um, here's what I have for now. Um, these fenders had a little crack right here. Uh, as you can see, I, I have to touch it up a little bit there. And up here, you know, I'll get some spot putty and, you know, fill it in and sand some more of this down right here. Um, but it's coming together pretty good. You know, I have to touch that, touch this right here because I have to rebuild this part right here. Um, the other fender, the other side fairing is, and pretty decent shape I don't think I'll have to do anything to that one to this one here this one is in pretty good shape um, I'm guessing I'll just have to just have to touch this up and it's not even thing I think it's just a little scratch um, probably touch up this little piece here a little bit more this is all primer you know, so I can throw the base coat down. I still have to sand, get all this shit off. This is uh, Plasti Dip. You know, they had Plasti Dip this whole bike before. And then uh, the owner, the guy I bought it from, he had taken some, taken some of it off. But uh, I'm getting to this piece probably tomorrow. Um, this is the belly. The belly is in very nice shape. Uh, besides this little thing right here that's missing. Like this one. But it's not a big deal. Uh, the side fairings are in pretty decent shape too. As you can see. And in great shape. And then the tail. I'm working on the tail now. Because the guy, he had drilled he had drilled through let me put it sit it here so I can point he had drilled here and put some lights there I don't know why and then uh here and on the bottom he had drilled out through through the fat through the tail and you know but uh this piece here this trim molding I cannot find it anywhere I found some on eBay, but they want to sell me the whole tail. You know, I'm not going to spend $80, $125, $80 to $125 for the tail when my tail is fine. Um, this is just here because I covered up the holes. You can see right there, there was a hole there, a hole there, and then a hole there, and a hole there. You know, so I just covered it up, and then I'm just making it. Right now, I'm just filling it in little by little. When I get the light, I'll wrap the light in some type of plastic. Put the light on because I ordered a new light. 
put the light on, wrapped and everything, and then just fill it all in real nice. Let it dry and remove the uh, light. Get it nice and sanded. It's nice and sanded right now. It's nice and smooth. Because like I said, I've been working on it. But I can't fill it in correctly until I get the light. So it should be coming in a few days. So then I can primer it. And then that'll be ready. Um, and then I'm going to be working on that piece. Since I can't work on this piece anymore until the light comes in. Be working on that piece. And the front. And I'll be taking it off, sanding it. So I can get this bike ready. Um, ready for paint. Uh, I don't know when I will be painting, but I will be painting it hopefully by next by the end of the next month, which is in November. Um, and then all the rest will be like little stuff like uh, getting the chain, a new chain and sprocket for the front and back, a new sprocket set. Um, touching up the motor a little bit, like here, and you know, making it look nice. Cleaning it all up, degreasing the whole bike. Uh, here's the tank. The tank is in pretty nice shape. I just have to touch it up a little bit here. Right here. Touch it up there. And then it has a little dent right here. Just touch that up. You know, it's a little stuff. But it's good in there. You know, the bike will be whole again by hopefully the end of next month or early December um but yeah it's getting there people it's getting there you know I'm gonna be getting the seat upholstered soon also you know it's just since I'm doing most of the work um you know, it's a little hard for me because, you know, I run I run a business and, uh, you know, I, I come out from running my business and then, you know, the little bit of time that I do have, as you can see, it's only 7 o'clock and it's already nighttime. You know, a little bit of time I do have, probably like an hour or two a, a day, you know, I have to work piece by piece, you know, so, you know, it'll take a couple, a, a couple weeks more, but... She'll be getting there soon. Um, I'm going to be getting a new igni ignition. Because the back of this one is missing the cover. So, you know, I can't really... I'm not going to really be able to find the cover. Because I, when I turn the key, if the, pack, but the back piece falls out. And then, uh, you know, I got to find these little things. Little bull, you know, the little bullshit. Like the caps from here. You know, I'll probably be paint this. This cover, paint it up. You know, make it look nice. But the bike is getting there, people. It's getting there. It's looking good. It is looking good. And like I said before, little by little, it'll get there. You know, let me move this a little bit this way. So it doesn't fall and get scratched up. Because I don't want to have to do double the work. But... Yeah, she's getting there. Yeah. Still have her. My wife still has that one. You know, which I'm going to be buying my wife another bike soon, too. She wants a, a little bit of a bigger bike. You know, not that there's anything wrong with these. Like I mentioned before, these, bike has, these bikes have been perfect for, to us. They've been great. You know, they're not for sale, again, as I said before. You know, she just wants something a little bit more powerful. So I'm going to be getting her something, maybe like a 300 Ninja or a, or an R3, depending how, you know, it all uh, depends on what she wants. You know, but this one is getting there. It's going to be out soon. In about two months, she'll be ready, ready to go, ready to be ready to be on the road again. You know, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys posted on these uh, parts on the on the bike.
on the progress. So thank you for watching.